If you're clicking on this video, you probably know who Dylan Dennis is outside of his antics at UFC 229. But for those of you who don't, here's a bit of quick backstory on Dylan Dennis. Dennis is currently a coach and fighter training out of Straight Blast Gym Island under John Kavanaugh. Dennis is best known for being a bit of a controversial troll. Uh, he's called out Jake Paul a few times. Uh, he's pestered Habib's camp, things like that. So with Dylan's skill set, how far do I think he can get in the world of MMA? Dennis is still relatively new to the cage, but he's never been far from it with a ridiculously competitive record in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Dennis started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu after getting into an altercation at 15 where he choked a guy out and he soon after found himself training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under Jamie Cruz, pursuing those natural instincts. He also had a season wrestling in high school, which definitely gave him a small edge in his early days of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. When Dennis turned 19, he moved to New York to train full time under Marcelo Garcia. For those of you who aren't aware, Marcelo Garcia is one of the greatest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu artists of all time, with five IBJJF World Championships to his name. In fact, I think many would go as far to agree that a lot of the fundamentals of Marcelo Garcia have gone on to become fundamentals in aggressive Brazilian Jiu Jitsu today. At 22 years old, Dennis was awarded his black belt after going on an absolute run at brown belt. Probably his most notable achievement to date was winning the Pan America IBJJF World Championships at black belt level in his weight class. So now we switch to Conor McGregor who is just coming off a loss to Nate Diaz and he knows he really has to step up his camp to be prepared to take him on a second time. That's where Dennis comes into the picture being hired by McGregor's camp to come and help them prepare for Nate Diaz's grappling. And I don't doubt that for Dylan, this is where the uh, transition to MMA started to bear fruits. Dennis has been training out of straight blast gym since, working his stand up with Kavanaugh while continuing to help their athletes develop their grappling game. Between his achievements in the grappling world and his notable link to Conor McGregor, it wasn't hard for Dennis to find a promotion to sign him up. In 2017, Dennis signed with Bellator where he has since fought twice. His two wins came over relatively easy opponents with mixed martial arts records, and naturally they both came by way of first round submission. He debuted on the main card four spots behind the main event. His most recent fight was just before the co-main event, so I don't doubt that his next fight will be against a competitive opponent very possibly in a co-main event spot. So with all that in mind, how far will Dylan really go? Dylan looks very relaxed in the cage, and I don't doubt that this is from competing on the world stage in grappling. Although his wrestling initially looks solid and there aren't any doubts over his grappling game, with his only submission loss coming to Gary Tonin, who is an undefeated featherweight in one championship, his stand-up still looks awkward and lacks fluidity. However, training under the McGregor banner gives me no doubt that his abilities are going to be fleshed out very quickly and I wouldn't be surprised to see him go on a real run in Bellator. With that being said, I currently can't see Dylan getting past Bellator's top welterweights and that's, that's no insult. Bellator has some top top competitors. But he has a high ceiling and with the right coaching and development, we could see him go on to become a top contender. Time will tell. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out, helps the channel out. And yeah, let me know how far you think Dennis is going to go. It's a very easy, debatable question. I think a lot of people don't want to see him get far. But yeah, be honest. Let me know down below what you think. He just did in bringing the fight to Kyle going into his back. That's because kinetic energy was beating him by big shots by Kyle Walker. This is his world. Dennis swiveling the hips. Walker trying to create. Separation trying to posture up. Walker got trying to escape. If he's Dennis looking for the leg lock, looking for that knee bar. All he needs to do is take his time with what he has right here. Look at the position. He's going to go for a toe 